Hi everyone, this is Dave Weiner here, and I'm going to do a, another one of those little demos that I like to do um, that illustrates something about Fargo. And Fargo, if, you're, if you haven't heard of it before, is uh, my latest product. It's an outliner. Um, but maybe it's, it does a little bit more than most outliners that you've ever seen before. Outliners, as you know, are good for taking notes, for planning things, for doing presentations, uh, for coordinating with people you work with. Uh, these are all things that outliners, people sort of expect outliners to do. Um, but one of the things that I like to use an outliner for is to uh, write stuff for the web. And one particular type of thing that I like to write for the web is a blog. And so I've always used an outliner um, to write my blog. Uh, but for the last few months, we've been working at Small Picture at productizing that so that it would be very accessible to lots of other people. And one of the key things about that is that we now have an outliner that runs in the browser, which is what you're looking at right here, of course. So, um, and we've really, really hacked at the process so that it takes as few steps as possible because that's key to simplicity, is that if there are fewer steps, then there are fewer things that you can get wrong. Um, and also, fewer steps is nice because it's, everything's faster, and it's also easier to learn. And so all these are good things. And a lot of that comes from the fact that we're running inside the browser and not running in a separate app. So right now, what I'd like to do is show you how I create a new blog. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Is create a new blog and then I'm going to create a post on that blog and then we're going to look at that post over in the browser okay and now <laughs> if all that works um, I'm gonna be really happy and uh, I mean it should work but you know this being a demo I think things sometimes don't so the first thing I want to do is create a new file because all the files that I've got here now are for other things. This is one for a rollout, for a book that I'm thinking about writing, some coding that I'm doing, and a sort of status outline. Um, so I go to the file menu and I choose new, and I'm gonna call this my blog. All right, and so now you see there's a new tab opened here that's called, of course, my blog. And um, so, but this is not yet a blog. Just because I said it's my blog, that doesn't mean it's actually a blog yet. This is what I have to do to turn it into one. I go name outline. So what I'm going to do now is give it a public name. And so we'll call it Dave Demo Blog. And you can see as I'm typing here, it's telling me, it's talking to the server to find out what names are available and uh, and Dave's demo blog, Dave demo blog is available. So click OK. And it says Dave demo blog .com has been assigned to this outline. So we now have a website. This is, this is, I mean, you could think of it as a blog, which we, of course, we will think of it that way, but it also is in every way a website, but we're not going to get into that right now. So now I've created the blog. So that was the first part. Second thing I want to do, as I said, is create a new post for that blog. So to do that, I put my cursor on the uh, on the plus icon in the left margin, and I click it. And notice that it created a new calendar structure for me. And blogs are all about chronology. So um, tomorrow, on July 14th, when I click that, it'll create a new headline for July 14th. But it automatically created one for the year, for the month, and for the day. And then it created a new post. See the icon there? That icon means that it's a post. And it put the cursor right there, and it's sitting there flashing. And of course, you know, as is tradition, my first blog post. That's the title of the blog post. And then I just indent underneath it, and now I'm typing the body of the blog post. So this, whoops, this is an example of a blog post written in Fargo. 
I'm having a very nice and oops and so far successful demo. Just one more step and I will have achieved my goal. Okay, so see that? Did you, I wonder if you saw that over there. It, it did an autosave. You can see now that it's actually saved. So with any luck, put my cursor over here, right? Now I want to see what it looks like, right? Put my cursor on the eye icon. That always means the same thing. If you are pointing at something that can be viewed on the web, then the eye icon will uh, basically take you to the web view of that thing. So here we go. Holding my breath. There we go. <laughs> my first blog post. And it says this is an example of a blog post written in Fargo. And um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I've now completed my mission, but we're gonna we're not satisfied yet. I have to try and screw this up a little bit, <laughs> or hopefully not. Um, so let's say I want to add something to this. Um, let's just say, okay, these are the three things I did in my demo. Okay. Oops. Move that down there. By the way, one thing, if you're ever doing a demo, it's really not good to say oops, <laughs> because, but it's just human nature, what can I do? I mean, uh, but it's not a good thing to do. Anyway, so uh, I want to move that down, because it really should be the last thing. So the first thing I did was, one, create my blog, two, name it, three, write a post, and view it. And the fourth thing is edit post. So that's what I've just done. Is step four is editing the post. Notice that it says saved over here now. And I click the eye icon. And we go one, two, three. And there, there we go. The things that I just added are now part of the post. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Take that over to your favorite blogging software, WordPress, Tumblr, whatever. See how many steps it is to create a new blog and see how many steps it takes to write your first blog post. And then, one more thing, just for a little icing on the cake, this is how you create your second blog post. Ta-da! From now on, it's just that simple. Anytime you want to make a blog post, just come over, open up my blog, or click on the tab, click the plus sign, and uh, start to type your title, and then start typing. And that's it. So if you want to know more, uh, the software is at Fargo.io. And uh, my name is Dave Weiner, and I blog at scripting.com. And man, this demo actually worked. <laughs> so I'm a happy dude. Um, and we'll see you again real soon. Okay, bye-bye.